My name is Susie Henselt and I enjoy music. I love my family. My kids are grown. I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I met my husband in, in Milwaukee when I was in the German Folk Dancing Club. And so a year later, we got married. <laughs> he was supposed to go back to Brazil, but he didn't. He married me instead. I love cooking. I love to be with people. I'm involved in my church. I'm in the Ave Maria Guild. We uh, do all kinds of service projects for the church. And I just love being with people. I'm a people person and I, en I enjoy children. I'm a part-time nanny babysitter. I like to give parents a break when they need a date night and I take care of their kids and I have a blast with them. We play games and we run around and I love to get them outside. And I just like to do adventures with kids. I'm not a boring person nanny at all. I'm just kind of active. So I, I just love, and I love life. Life has really been good to me. So, and I love living here in Florida. This is beautiful. Susie's wonderful nature makes you want to be around her, but she told us about a startling pain that threatened to dampen her joyful spirit. My pain was very sudden. I woke up on a Tuesday and I couldn't even move out of my bed. I was in excruciating pain and I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't even get up and use the facilities. I mean, it was that bad. The pain in my body was down my left leg, all the way down to my knee on the left thigh and it, it's numbing and it's just painful. It just never went away. It was just very, very painful. And it comes, it turns out the doctor said that was from, that was from the back and, and some, of the, some of the discs, uh, rad, the paint radiates to the legs. And so this is where the, the disc, I think it was three or four, it radiated to my leg and that's where I had probably 90% of my pain and then a little bit, 10% was in the lower spine. But mostly it was a leg and it was just excruciating. It was so painful, I didn't know what to do for it. The first week or two, I barely could get downstairs. I just stayed up in my room. My husband brought me my food. My daughter came to visit from Michigan. She had a pre-scheduled uh, visit, so she was here helping. And I basically went from here to the shower, you know, from my bedroom to the shower to back to the bed. I just could not. I could not cook. I could not clean. I could not. I could barely just take care of myself. I took my shower, but that was like five minutes because the pain was so bad. And I'd, I'd be back in the bed. Trying to avoid drastic measures like surgery, Susie went to her general practitioner who prescribed her pain medications for one week. When she returned to her doctor later for more medication, she was denied. Over-the-counter medications were also not helping, so she began looking elsewhere. First, I called my neuromuscular uh, massage therapist and she came over and she said, I can't even touch you, your pain is way too severe, you need to go immediately to ER. Well, I went to ER and they weren't much help. They threw me a pill and threw me out. But I guess that's what ERs do. They don't really, they really can't do much. From there, I I heard a commercial on TV about Laser Spine Institute. So I thought, okay, well, let's give that a shot. And they called me back the same day. I called the phone number and they intervie interviewed me on the phone and they got me in within a couple days. There they gave me an epidural. They did x-rays. They interviewed me by, I don't know how many doctors. It was just amazing how many people they put you through at that place. And then I found out my insurance is not accepted by them. So I'm like, well, I have to say goodbye. Then BioSpine is real close by it, like across the way. And my husband, ha we happened to be driving around. We were early for laser spine and he runs into a nurse in the parking lot of BioSpine and he goes in with her and takes the name and number and we call BioSpine. So we had an we had, uh, uh, appointment the very next day at BioSpine and I was very impressed by them. The doctor was nice, he's personable. He could see I was in a lot of pain. It looked like he was gonna help me and I'm like, good, I'm on the right track. Well, then I came back a month later and he was a whole different story. Well, didn't I order you, didn't I order you PT? No. Well, didn't I do this? No. It's like, don't you even know my case? I mean, you're the doctor, I'm the patient. I know what's going on, I hope you do. So I was very turned off by that. So I'm like, all right, time for divine intervention. All right, Lord, now what do I do? This isn't gonna work. After her disappointments at other spine facilities, Susie took to the internet and she quickly discovered the Bonatti Spine Institute. Bonatti came up, Bonatti Institute. And I'm like, all right, so call them up as soon as I could, like Monday, you know. They got me in immediately. They were so personable from the first person I met when you walk in the door. Paul was phenomenal. So then I came in for the first appointment, saw the nurses, and Dr. Nowak came in. And then about 10 minutes later, Dr. Bonatti came in. They made me feel so comfortable, like I was a real human person, you know, talking to me face to face, 
making me f not having any anxiety because naturally you're going to have anxiety when you go see a surgeon you're scared you know and they were just like well this is how this works and this is what's going on with your mri and this is how we can fix this we're here to help you they were so calm and cool they were and so personable not all doctors are like that, believe me. You know, I had a bad experience at the other Spine Institute where the doctor was very mean. And they just explained. They didn't rush me out of the room. You know, I, they were probably in my room for 20 minutes just talking through the x-ray, the MRI, just talking what they would do. And they were going to do a newer procedure where they go in and they can stretch it and they can take care of the two discs because there was two discs that were a problem, not just one that was herniated. And he had a new procedure procedure that he was going to do, newer. I mean, he's done it. But I was like, wow, that is just so cool. And then I found out I had spinal stenosis and that's why I could never walk for more than five minutes and have to take a seat. I'm like, well, that explains it. It's not that I'm old and that I can't walk. It's that I have a reason that I'm having problems walking. And so, you know, everything was explained and everywhere you went, when you went to x-ray, they were kind. When you talked to the nurse, they were kind. Everybody was kind and personable. Everybody was. And that's, that stands, that really stands out for Bonatti. You don't get that anywhere else. Believe me, you don't. For Susie's procedure, Bonatti anesthesiologist and medical director, Dr. Campoli, administered her conscious IV sedation. Susie was a shining example of the benefits of this technique, providing valuable feedback to the surgical team and entertainment for the operating room. So I met the anesthesiologist and she's just amazing. She pulls out her rosary, finds out she's Catholic like I am. And I said, well, can I sing a song for you? I'd love to sing a song. Um, but I really have a loud, powerful voice. So if there's any surgeries going on, I probably can't sing because you know, my voice really carries. And she says, you just go for it. So I sang a German song called Vienna, My City of Dreams. And I just went to town. Freihaus, ein zwei so far. We talked and, and she was just so kind. And she says, this is what, how it's gonna be. You're gonna be in, a, I, you're gonna be semi-awake so that you can answer questions. So I was semi-awake. And part of the time I didn't know what was going on, but then in the operating room, I didn't even know, I just started singing. I don't know, it just came out of the blue. And then they call back the videographer and he started filming. Recovery time can vary from patient to patient depending on their condition. For Susie and countless other Bonatti Spine Institute surgical guests, her relief was instant. Immediately at 95% of that pain went away. It was just like, wow, this is just, amazing you know i can swim i can walk like here i am walking again you know so been doing that and i went to the neighbor's pool last week and i went swimming getting those wheels all right you know i can drive myself even my husband's like well i'll drive you somewhere i said no i can drive <laughs> i'm so happy to be driving i mean you know it's just it's just such a good feeling to feel this good and not have the, the kind of pain that i went through for the very the first month Call up Dr. Benatti Institute. Just take it a step at a time, but you won't be disappointed. If you need surgery, he'll take care of you. All those doctors are good. They know what they're doing. God bless everybody at Benatti. <laughs> you are the best. <laughs>